Some bones, some bones. Not good. Sound check. Sound check, one, two, three. We're in Eminonu. Great place. Trying to look for some uh, balik, famous Istanbul fish sandwiches. So guys, Emre, the camera guy, he said when I come here, I should say something to the camera. So basically, this is Eminonu. You can see the Topkapi Museum. This is the Yeni Mosque, and you can see the Suleymaniye, which personally is my favorite historical mosque in Istanbul. This is a really funny street food tour. Like, we don't even know where we're going. <laughs> what a bunch of amateurs. Man, we just can't find these places. So there's more high-end restaurants. We may just have, I don't even know if they're high-end. It's there? It's on the boat? Okay, let's go. This is it. We're here. You sure we're here? Yeah. Emre knows the place. I'm making a street food tour. I don't even know where the damn street food is. Let's go see them grilling the fish. Look at all that fish. Look at all that fish, right? This really looks amazing. So we got, we got the sandwich. It's called a double because it's got it's double, right? So it's two pieces of fish. This is mackerel. It's 30 tele, which is about five and a half dollars. The Sprite, I guess this was about just under a dollar. Some bones, some bones. Not good. Look at that. It's got onions, lettuce, there's these spices. It doesn't look great. Let's just taste the mackerel by itself. Nice, no, it's good. As an Istanbul experience, this is 8 out of 10. As a fish sandwich, 5.5 out of 10. Once you add the lemon, and because it's double, I'm going to have another bite. Six and a half out of ten, with all the extra stuff. But honestly, as an Istanbul experience, sitting here by the water in Eminonu, it's fantastic. This makes me feel awesome. Lemon. So this is the lemonade the guy gave us. It's three tele, which is like just more than half a dollar. That is not good. Now we're going to get this Osmani Lokma see? This is famous throughout the Arab world. It's called Lokma and, and Turkey. But I, I rarely see the ones that are shaped like this, like a ring donut. Usually they're these balls. And recently they've become very famous in Istanbul. They've been filled with chocolate and cream. My kids love it. It's just donuts being fried and then they put some syrup. That's all the donut dough. And it's just like mass made donuts. Wow. As you bite it, there's like these juices. Come here, come out. Look at Look at this. Look at that. It's just so syrupy. And it explodes in your mouth. This is really good. For under a dollar, in this location, this as an experience is 9 out of 10. And as a donut for its value, it's 8 out of 10. This is really great. I need to do this more often. I need to come out here more often and just mess around and have some donuts. Look at this. So there's restaurants, people are having the same thing. And it's 15 tele, so it's the same price. And you, uh, you most likely get a more comfortable experience. If you want authenticity, you probably should stay where we were the first time. If you just want comfort and a nice view, come to these places. It's almost every single place basically has the same menu. So honestly, it's just like, it's when you feel like sitting down or like when, when you like the chairs. Damn, we live in a nice city. We live in such a great city. Over here, this, this looks good. Yeah, this is really nice. So before we even like, like move on further, like one of the downsides to moving in and eating here with this fantastic view is the weight. So if you recall, when I first got the sandwich at the first place, which was authentic, I literally like asked, like, what's the price? I put my hand in my pocket and like the sandwich came. So our sandwich has arrived and as you can see, it just looks much better. It's seared much better, the, the fish looks chunkier, the bread looks fresher. I don't think it has those onions, which I think may be a pity because those onions were quite tasty to be honest with you. The fish looks just much better though. That's good. The quality of the fish and the mackerel 
Much better. It is missing the onions. Maybe people don't like onions and that's your choice, but I like the onions. I think it gives it a nice raw, both for texture, it gives it crunchiness, and it gives it a flavor. I'll make another bite and I'll tell you. It's a better sandwich. Mine is half a point for the onions, so I think the overall place for that one after adding everything was six and a half. So I was going to give it a seven and a half, but because of those onions, I'll give it a seven. As an experience, that was eight out of 10. This is seven and a half out of 10. This is really fantastic because of the view, but that was just authentic and real. I did wait for about 12 minutes for the sandwich, by the way. So I'm just going to taste the actual mackerel. And you can see it's a much fleshier fish. This one's got less bones. And the fish is it's much more fresh. It tastes fresh, at least. Pardon, he's up. 33 lira with the water. So it's the same price. This is a better sandwich. It does miss the, uh, the onions. For the street atmosphere, I honestly think that place does beat it. And uh, yeah, I think, I think we're not going to end with this because the shot of Embraer saying the fish was fantastic was just much better. Embraer, your time to eat, man. What's your take, Emre? The fish, the delicacy on the skin and the lemon, amazing ingredients. Man's gonna take my job. <laughs> Look at that. Man's gonna take my job. Seriously, amazing sandwich, guys. Thumbs up. There we go. You can, you can kill it. Mm -hmm.